my living back 48 years ago allowed me to keep my daughter in the system so that she could come home and be a part of the community as well as part of final living. But for me, I think the part that has impacted me the most is, as I've gotten older, the question is always, what's going to happen when I'm gone? And I'm at a point now where I'm 70 years old and it's really on my mind. And I put a lot of time in with my daughter and she's grown a lot, but if I die today, I'm okay. My daughter is in a place that loves her, programs that take her out to the community, and I think the goal of any mother is, I want my child to be happy. And I think my daughter is happy. And so I'm relieved with that, and it just touches me so deeply because she's autistic, which is withdrawn, but as she gets older, she reaches out, you know, and spontaneously gives me a kiss. And she's a real person now. She's a whole person. And I'm very close to the staff at Vital Living. I talk to Gina every night. And they're always happy to hear from me. So I guess as hard as this has been, the blessing is that much richer. That if I died today, my daughter is okay, happy, and flourishing. It doesn't get any better than that. Not for, not for parents with special needs children.